Welcome to another video. So, recently, Google launched their new AI model called Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is a reasoning model that's now the state of the art and is exceptional at coding. It tops the LM Arena leaderboard, Ader's coding benchmark, and even my own vibe tests, which confirms it's genuinely impressive. This is quite remarkable considering how competitive the AI landscape has become lately. It's the same model we tested in the Nebula testing video, where it showed outstanding capabilities. The model is freely available and can be used by anyone at no cost on the Google AI Studio. The API is also available for free with some rate limits, which is pretty fantastic. I've also discovered a hugging face tool that I've covered before, but it's now upgraded to use this model, and it's truly remarkable. The improvements are substantial and make it worth revisiting. It's called Gemini Instant Coder, previously known as Gemini Coder. It's not officially made by Google, but rather a hobby project by one of their employees. As you can see, this interface is hosted on Hugging Face Space, and you can access it directly from there. The interface is clean, intuitive, and designed for straightforward use. This is actually a fork of Llama Coder. If you recall, Llama Coder only supported the Together AI API models because it was developed by Together AI. But since it was open source, they've simply adapted it and replaced the API components with Geminis. The code for this tool is also open sourced meaning you can run it locally if needed. That's another great feature, and I'll explain how to set it up locally. Now, let's first examine Gemini Coder itself and see what it can really do in practice. This is Gemini Coder, where you can enter your prompt. Here, you can select from various models like Gemini, 2.5 Pro, 2.0 Flash, and 1.5 Pro. Everything is free in their demo, and you don't need to provide any API key or credentials. Let's write a simple prompt to create an app that allows users to upload an image and then crop it. This is actually quite a complex task that involves handling file uploads, image processing, and interactive UI elements. A good test for the model's capabilities. I'm selecting 2.5 Pro here because I want to see the most advanced version in action. Now, let's submit it. Once we send it, you can see it begins processing, and this main response area is where we'll see the results. Gemini 2.5 Pro is remarkably fast as well, which is impressive considering the complexity of what we're asking it to do. After waiting just a moment, you can see the code has been generated and the preview is loading. And now it's complete. Here, we have both the code and the functioning application. The app works perfectly as requested, which is impressive. The code is written in React, which is excellent because many other AI tools sometimes only code in basic HTML. But this can actually produce React code, which is what many developers prefer in today's web development landscape. You can also refresh it or open it in Sandbox. Just click the Open in Sandbox button and it will launch Code Sandbox where you can view the code, edit it, or download it, which is extremely convenient. One limitation is that you cannot request changes, which is definitely a drawback. You'll need to either accept the first generation or modify your original prompt to get the desired output, which is workable, so I won't complain too much. Let's try creating something else with it to really test its versatility. Let's ask it to make a playable synth keyboard, which involves audio processing and interactive elements. Once we submit this, you can see it starts generating the code. Let's wait a moment while it processes this more complex request. The code is being generated here, line by line. It seems to be finished now, 
and the preview is loading. It's complete, and we have the synth keyboard here with all the keys and controls nicely laid out. If we play this, it works properly, although the sounds are somewhat muted. You can do the same things here as well, like opening it in a sandbox and so forth, giving you flexibility in how you work with the generated code. Now, let me show you how to use it locally if you prefer having more control over the environment or need to integrate it into your development workflow. You can click the GitHub repo link, which will take you here. Copy this git clone command, then go to your terminal and paste it. This will clone the repository to your computer. Once it's cloned, navigate to the folder and create an env file. Open it and enter your Gemini API key. You can get this for free by simply going to Google AI Studio and creating an API key. After that's done, save the file, return to the terminal, and run the npm install command to install the required packages. Once that's complete, you can launch it using the npm run command, and it will start on localhost with a designated port. Open it in your browser, and you'll see the interface. You can now select your preferred model and ask it to create anything. Let's request a good-looking string encryption tool app that uses MD5. Let's submit it and see what happens. It begins generating the code, and it's quite fast. After a brief wait, you can see the code has been generated and the preview is loading. It also uses Code Sandbox like the hosted version, though you don't need an API key for this. I believe there might be some limitations, but I couldn't find specific information about the exact limits. Regardless, this works well too, and we have a functional app here that properly encrypts strings using the MD5 algorithm. That's really impressive, and that's essentially how you can use it for various types of applications. I think this tool has significant utility because you can easily create front-end components with it, and it supports React, making it compatible with most modern web applications. The best part is the hosted version because it's free and doesn't require any API key, which is fantastic for quick prototyping or educational purposes. It's similar to LlamaCoder since it's a fork, but I prefer it because LlamaCoder currently only offers DeepSeek, and most people would obviously prefer 2.5 Pro over DeepSeek given its superior performance on benchmarks. I encourage you all to check it out and use it to build some impressive projects. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.